Hey guys, happy new year. So out here in the bait shop again, uh, making some baits and uh, just kind of looking through some of my YouTube videos and some comments and I had, uh, had somebody ask me the other day on one of my, one of my videos that I made previously and uh, they were asking about how I keep my powder fluffed and uh, when I'm, when I'm uh, doing my spinner blades and I didn't even realize that I wasn't showing that on my video. So uh, today I think we're gonna walk through step by step. I'm gonna kind of show you how I keep my, my powder fluffed. So one thing about it, uh, you know, I have, I've got probably 25 different colors and I, I'm not doing mass production or anything like that. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't really need a powder, uh, a fluid bed. Uh, I don't really see the need for one. Uh, and really my, my trick is just as simple as, uh, you know, after a couple of uses, I just flip it over, make sure I give it a couple taps, make sure that all my, all my powder, uh, went back to the top, flip it back over, unscrew it and I use it. And uh, that, that keeps it pretty fluffed. And then after a couple dips, you know, I'll do the same thing. I'll just go ahead and screw the cap back on, flip it back over, give it a couple taps, make sure everything's down, flip it back over, and then it's ready to use again. So anyway, stick around. We're gonna make some cool colors anyways today. And uh, I think we'll have some fun. I uh, come up with some new colors and stuff about every time I do these things. So I don't know, I enjoy it. And uh, I love making spinner baits, so gonna be uh, fishing season here before we know it so winter right now obviously but uh, you know spring season just right around the corner so uh, we love the spinner baits so stick around we'll see what we come up with don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, definitely drop me a comment I enjoy the comments so see you guys okay guys so hopefully you can see this but I've got all my all my powder baits kind of flipped over yeah you can see that so uh, basically what you see here, I've got, uh, I don't know, a couple different types of spinner blades that I'm going to be using. And I like using the heat gun probably the best. I don't really like to keep a torch going, so that's kind of what I do. So uh, we're going to be using the, the uh, ProTech uh, Crinkle Silver. It's been kind of one of my favorites to use here lately. And uh, we're going to do uh, watermelon pepper. Probably some candy blue. I think this is candy teal and then candy red. And we're gonna see what we can come up with. And uh, kind of like I said, one of the tips that I always use to keep my powder fluffed is I always keep it upside down. When I'm ready to, to use it, I just simply turn it over and, uh, and we'll run with it like this. So I think one of the first ones we're gonna do is the uh, watermelon pepper. And this this kind of turns out like a like a really cool bass color. I think you guys are gonna like this. So, turn my heat gun on. Let my heat gun get warmed up a little bit. Take my blade on there, and I really just grab it from the from the that point right there at the end of the hole. Heat it up, and then I like to stick my my blade in there top side up. So I don't get a whole bunch of residual on the back. So we get in there just like that, kind of knock it off. And then uh, this crinkle is really cool stuff. So what I'll do is I'll just keep heating that until I get kind of the desired little speckly look that I want. And then you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see that smoking. So kind of what I like to do is kind of wait till that stops smoking. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my watermelon pepper and uh, okay, so it's kind of stopped smoking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in there just like this and just like so. Turn my heat gun back on. And this thing has a lot of texture to it still. So kind of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it in there one more time, just like I did before. And uh, kind of like you see here, uh, got a nice smooth little gloss to it. And uh, basically what I do is I take my little, I've got these little hooks that I bought for Christmas ornaments and I'm gonna stick it on there and then I'm gonna set it off to the side over here and get ready to bake it. So we'll come back to that and uh, I'll show you how we bake it here in just a second. But we're gonna do kind of a different array of colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my crinkle back over. 
we're gonna use this this teal now the candy colors I kind of like because they 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 really aren't uh, opaque they're they're kind of transparent you can see through them a little bit so that uh, oh the the crinkle really shows up really well coming through them so kind of the same thing I'm gonna grab that blade uh, right there by the by the port Heat it up, and the guys dip it. And then I'm going to run it over until it starts crinkling. And then kind of the same thing. You can see it smoking. So just kind of wait till it stops smoking. And then I'm going to dip it. And then kind of hit it with the heat gun again. Kind of the same thing. Put a little bit more paint on it than that. And that's what we got. Really cool. They turned out really awesome. So, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and stick this on my hanger. And I'm going to set it to the side. Okay. And I normally don't do this necessarily between every tour, but you know what? I'm doing it. Do it right. Make it look good. Okay, so now I'm going to use the candy blue. Same thing. And really the, you know, the textured blades or the smooth blades, it don't matter. They, they both turn out about the same, really. So... thing up and you don't really need to get it too hot either I mean really you can heat this thing up till it's like super hot but really all you're doing there is is uh, probably setting yourself up for uh, for it getting too much paint on it so because you really don't want to get too much paint that's the whole point of fluffing it you know if you get too much paint on it it'll glob it on there and then it, it won't look good anyway so kind of just get a nice little thin coat of paint on there. Get the crinkle effect that we want. Once it cools down, and if you don't wait till it cools down, what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna push that crinkle paint up onto the onto the blade. So then you won't really get the look that you want. You're gonna end up with uh, kind of a smushed look. And I'll show you here in a second how we do that. Gonna give it one more time in here in the blue. Now you can get too much paint on there and then you'll get it to where it drips and stuff. But uh, kind of one of the things I'll do, I'll show you when I, when I start baking this, but when I bake it in my oven, I'm only gonna bake it at 250 degrees. I'm gonna bake it for a little bit longer than, than you probably would if you were baking it at 300 or 350. But uh, basically what that's gonna do is just allow for a good clean uh, bake on it. Won't, it won't, hopefully it won't help that paint drip. That, because you get that too too hot, that paint will drip right off of that blade. So, and this is a candy red. This heat gun I got from Harbor Freight, it's not the cheapest one that they sell. But it's definitely the best one they sell for the money. I think it's about 35 bucks. I, uh, I've used the other ones that are about 15 bucks. And uh, I was going through them every two or three months. So this one I've had for about six months. So like I say on there, you can kind of see it stop smoking. And then we're just going to dip it in that, in that red. Kind of heat it up a little bit. Back in the room. And these just turn out so cool. So, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you on here what happens if you if you kind of rush this and don't let that steam uh, stop on these. Just get your lure or get your blade a little bit too hot, and we'll dip this thing, and you'll kind of see. I'll probably use one of these lighter colors. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about better on these, but anyways, 
Pretty easy technique though, only takes a second. And shoot, I could be out here painting these lures all day, but. So I'll show you what happens if you, if you kind of rush this and don't wait till that thing stops getting hot. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna heat it maybe just a little bit longer than, I, than I've been doing. So you can see I got a little bit of a lumpy paint on there. Dip it in there and kind of what you come up with You can see here on the back, especially how it's kind of just pushed that paint up there. That's because I didn't allow the paint to cool. And it uh, and it basically just shoved that, that hot paint right up on the blade. So you want to make sure that that blade is nice and cool before you, well, not cool, but a lot cooler than, than after you, uh, you let it stop smoking, then dip it in your, in your, in your uh, candy paint and uh, you'll come up with much better results. So... Okay, so now basically what I'm going to do is I have my little oven out here. So I made a little rack for it out here. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people do this different ways, but basically all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these spinner blades and I'm going to hang them in there. Make sure you space them nice and far apart. No need in getting them stuck together and having a gooey mess. So it doesn't really matter how you hang them on here. Just hang it on there. Okay, so you can see them. I got them all hanging in there apart. Put that back in there. I've been cooking some, some other baits today because the rack was kind of hot. Okay, so you can see here, I've got it on maybe just a hair over 250. And basically all I'm gonna do is turn that on for about 25 minutes. And, uh, and then we'll come back to it and we'll see what we got. Okay. And we're back. Obviously, it's had a few minutes to cool, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these off of here and see what we got. Okay. Well, as you can see, these turned out pretty good. See which one was it that yeah that one that was the one that we did that extra paint job on we dipped a little bit too hot so but there's that watermelon and the red I think my favorite color is probably this this teal I don't know but that just turns out really good I like that color so and the blue the blue turns out really good too the red, I'm not as impressed with, but all these other colors are really freaking cool. Yeah, that looks like a, like a, I don't know, a smally color or something. So, anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think of the video. And, uh, till next time, see you guys.